Hello! What's up everybody? I want to welcome you all to my very first vlog. If you found the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. But before we go on to our topic, let me introduce myself first. Maybe everyone is curious about who I am. Well, my name is Mercy Teresa Dayang, 18 years of age. I am a BS Economic freshman student at Visayas State University. Anyways, if you are watching this video, I want to thank you. I also hope that you learned something from this vlog. God bless! Our topic for today's vlog is useful to everyone. It is all about applying all dimensions of wellness. I know we have different ways of living lives. One way of doing it right is through practicing healthy habits. According to the World Health Organization or WHO, it is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being and not merely the ability of absence of disease or infirmity. Wellness is more than being honest free. Instead of surviving, we are all thriving since we are attaining better physical and mental health outcomes. Let us start with small changes within each dimension of wellness and let's take it one day at a time. But in this video, I will just show you how to apply it in our daily lives. There are eight dimensions of wellness, namely occupational wellness, emotional wellness, spiritual wellness, environmental wellness, financial wellness, physical wellness, social wellness, and intellectual wellness. The first dimension of wellness is occupational wellness. Occupational wellness means loving the job and valuing efforts in the workplace or personal career. Occupational wellness allows us to explore career options and encourages us to pursue the opportunities we love and enjoy the most. Choosing a career is one of the very important life choices. This dimension of wellness recognizes the importance of satisfaction, enrichment, and meaning through work. Volunteer opportunities that interest you. Set realistic career goals for yourself. Practice open communication with your colleagues. Maintaining this dimension allows us to develop our unique talents and skills. The second dimension of wellness is emotional wellness. I know we all have different means of understanding one's feelings and coping effectively with stress. Or shall we say, paying attention to self-care, relaxation, stress reduction, and development of our inner self. And we call it emotional wellness. Being emotionally well enables our ability to learn and grow from our experiences. And we will be able to enjoy our emotional expression from ourselves to others. Here are some strategies for you to boost your emotional wellness. Remind yourself to stay positive always. Smile. Seek and accept help from others when needed. Accept your mistakes and learn from them. They are learning experiences. Third is spiritual wellness. Spiritual wellness can be slightly complicated to be understood and achieved. This wellness can be defined through various factors which include religious faith, ethics, values, and morals. It also allows us to appreciate our life experiences. In other terms, spiritual wellness grants us balance. There are ways to practice and attain an optimal level of spiritual wellness. First thing is to explore, understand, and know yourself. Practice acceptance. Look for a religious belief that you agree with. Lastly, keep yourself guided by the Lord, for He is the way to the truth. Next is environmental wellness. In these times of pandemic, we often see people who are engaged in planting any types of plants. These people are called plantitos and plantitas. They are very us to live a lifestyle that is respectful for our surroundings. This dimension of wellness promotes interaction with nature and our environment. Here are some takeaway to help you become more environmentally aware. Conserve energy, recycle, 
and spend some time outdoors or engage yourself in planting any type of plants. Then, financial wellness. It is a process of learning how to manage financial expenses successfully. We know that money plays a critical role in our lives, and financial stress is a common source of stress, fear, and anxiety. I know I am not that financially capable, but here are some tips for financial wellness. Keep organized your finances. Plan and take a budget, and take advantage of the discounts. Now, it's time for physical wellness! Are you excited and interested in enhancing your physical wellness? Physical wellness encourages us to take care of ourselves through physical activity, proper nutrition, and strong mind. The following are some suggestions for you to practice maintain physical wellness. Engage yourself in some physical activity every day. Learn to take rest, eat a variety of healthy foods, and control your diet. Maintain a regular sleep schedule for about 7 to 9 hours of sleep each night. Second to the last dimension of wellness is social wellness. It aims to effectively and happily fulfill social goals and to create a network of support. It is also the practice of supportive relationships with friends, intimate relationships with to engage in creative and mentally stimulating activities. These activities will expand our knowledge and skills with others and can be developed through academics, cultural involvement, community involvement, and personal hobbies. It is important to explore new ideas and understanding to become more mindful. Being curious is important because it motivates us to try new things and develop an Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. God bless.